Welcome to World Warships this week with XBrad TC. If you ever log into a battle, queue in, and you see that the enemy has a division of three Atlantas, make it a focus to kill at least one of the Atlantas right away. Because working together, three Atlantas are just ridiculously quick to burn a water any ship down to the waterline. I don't think any of us fired a single round of armor piercing in this battle. We just went out there and set everything on on fire that's me in the foreground and i'm accompanied by rusty and steve each of us in our atlanta now rusty and steve and this was just uh before the the 5.3.0 uh mod came in rusty and steve both have the advanced firing training so they get a range of about 14 kilometers out of their five inch guns and i'm still stuck down at 11.1 .1. And I'm also having a bad day at ship driving. Somehow I, my hand slipped on the keyboard and I managed to come to a complete stop. I got lucky that I wasn't pounded for that. I think uh, I was undetected there for a minute. By the way, uh, in a future uh, video, we'll explain how to get this presentation of... Uh, an overview without the the game interface in case you want to do your own recordings and in fact we'll talk about enabling replays in the game and recording uh, battles if that's something you want to do but just look at the ridiculous amounts of fire that the three atlantas are putting out there it's just like a machine gun almost spraying five inch shells Alright, let's go back and uh, you can watch the battle from my perspective. Got uh, Rusty on one side, Steve on the other, and this is on the straight map. And my typical tactic is to go to the outside of the map, towards the small islands. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what, what side of the map I start on, and if I'm on the north section or the south section. I like to work my way to the outside. There's always a torpedo uh, or a destroyer hanging around one of the small islands. I like to make first contact that way. And uh, once we do that, we're going to uh, work our way back in. And eventually, we're going to work our way uh, through the other side, through the straits actually, and uh, engage on the northern half of the map. One of the challenges I face with the Atlanta is I'm a terrible shot. It doesn't matter how many rounds you're able to put out with the super rapid firing 5 inch guns of the Atlanta if you can't hit the target. Now admittedly at, at this range a destroyer is a really tough target for anything. But the Atlantas also have a very long time of flight at those kind of ranges. And so you got to lead, lead, lead. That's why I, I went ahead and switched and started engaging this Japanese cruiser. And you'll notice just now I've started getting my first hits of the entire match. Well, once you find the range, you start to get a pretty fair number of hits. Again, my hand slipped, I got confused managed to come to a complete stop. Don't want to be doing that. I mean, the Atlanta's got good speed, good maneuverability. You should be using it. I'm just waiting for somebody to come into range right now. This is where the short range of the Atlanta's guns are a real hindrance.
just look at all the rounds going out. And you'll notice Steve and Rusty are actually getting hit. I'm not. <laughs> And here, because I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, I managed, this was my fault. I should not have run into him. Fortunately, he didn't do a lot of damage to me and, and barely disrupted him. Rusty and Steve and I are taking a moment to assess the situation and to decide where we want to go and who we want to kill next. And we're, we're actually doing a voice chat uh, using a program called Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D. Uh, which works a lot like TeamSpeak, but it's a free program. And incredibly, take a look, after all that fighting going on, all the shooting that's going on, so far the enemy have only lost a cruiser. That's the only loss so far. That one was on Rusty. He wasn't watching where he was going. Now, one of the things about the Atlanta, that is a Tier 7 cruiser, it has very little health. You are not going to take a lot of damage and survive. It doesn't take long to get blown out of the water in the Atlanta. On the other hand, you can sure dish it out if you get a, a cooperative target. That, that, that guy was not maneuvering at all. And it just made it very easy for us to lead. Don't get close to an Atlanta in a destroyer. You're not going to win a duel. Keep maneuvering. I've turned bow on to this uh, Japanese battleship. I think it's a Congo. Uh, I was trying to minimize my uh, my aspect so I wouldn't take a lot of damage if he fired at me. But he's busy shooting at our, our battleship, so I go ahead and turn broadside on and start engaging someone else. But I'm continually maneuvering, trying to make sure nobody gets a, an easy shot at me. Nobody can easily put torpedoes into me. And I think we're about to lose Rusty pretty soon. And I believe that's a uh, Omaha, the very good American Tier 5 cruiser. He is quite clearly frustrated at all the firepower he's taking. And we're shifting back from one target to another just based on who's easiest to hit, who's closest, who's the, the biggest threat right away. This guy is just having a bad day. Look at all those rounds pouring in. I mean, the battleship is tough, but you can only take so many hits. He's burning, he's getting, you know, the, uh, it's like being eaten by a pack of wild chihuahuas. No, no one bite's going to do that much damage, but look at all the bites he's taken. That's just about it. Hey, 
And he's done. Time to find somebody else to pick on. And somewhere in there, we did lose Rusty. So Steve and I are find ourselves pretty much alone down here. And it's, uh, unfortunately, I have found myself uh, about eight kilometers in trail of Steve. And we're going to go head up north and try and see what we can do over there. But it's going to take a while for me to catch up with him. That's Steve with the, obviously, in my division with the yellow tag. Now, there is an enemy destroyer on the far side of the strait. We don't want to find ourselves having to dodge spreads of torpedoes while we're in these confined waters. On the other hand, the confined waters are a very nice way to shield us from uh, a close-in gun duel with somebody we don't want to deal with, a battleship or a cruiser over there. What we really want to do is be able to fall upon them and surprise them. And we're not, we're not in, really in communication with this destroyer, but we're cooperating with him, this friendly destroyer directly in, in front of me. And it's a little frustrating. Steve's got, like I said, the longer range guns, and he's several kilometers ahead of me. And he's going to find himself in contact with an enemy cruiser here momentarily. And uh, I, it's always frustrating when you're not in a position to support your division mates. I mean, even more so than most of your teammates. I did not want to get into range of anybody to use my torpedoes in this fight, which is another nice little surprise you know the the Atlanta does have torpedo launchers it's not much of a torpedo short range fairly slow but occasionally people will get forgetful and forget that the Atlanta has torpedoes if you're at close range with an Atlanta and he's not shooting at you it's because he's decided to go ahead and launch torpedoes at you otherwise he's just going to continuously gun you down That's the enemy destroyer has likely detected me. So I'm on the lookout for torpedoes and whatnot. Trying to get a few rounds. Always like to kill destroyers with the Atlanta because, well, we don't like them. Steve's going to have to dodge those, does it handily. The Atlanta's got pretty good acceleration, turns pretty well. Tag the torpedo bombers, hopefully they won't drop on me. Also, the Atlanta's a very hard plane to kill, or a very hard ship to attack with torpedo bombers. It has fantastic anti-air capability. You can see I, I tagged that uh, anti-aircraft cooldown. It doubles the, the uh, firepower, the effectiveness uh, for a limited period of time, and it also makes the enemy's aim disperse. It really screws them up. All right, finally, after several minutes of motoring around, it's time to kill another Japanese cruiser. There's a battleship over there in the distance, but for now I'm going to focus on the cruiser. I take a look, I see that the bearings are changing on all the torpedoes, that means nothing's going to hit me. Along the way we lost our uh, friendly destroyer heading in here. Now I'm trying to go for that, that carrier. And that Dern Destroyer is in the way. And I'm, I'm making some course and speed changes so he can't get an easy shot at me with torpedoes. It's 
Steve's busy engaging a, uh, a battleship over there. I'm trying to get to the carrier, but it's not going to happen. I'm still looking for this uh, destroyer that's in front of me. Steve's busy dodging torpedoes. We're going to lose him very shortly. Again, make a course change just to make any torpedo shots miss. Turn in to close the range again. Almost in range. Now, with two Atlantas, I'm fairly comfortable taking on a battleship or a cruiser, just about anything in the game. Unfortunately, we're going to lose Steve, and I'm going to find myself engaging this guy alone. That I'm not so wild about. And there goes Steve. Lost him to gunfire. Still, we'll get some rounds out on the Colorado, try and get them burning. And somebody got them burning. And at this point, what I was actually trying to do was to zigzag in close enough to uh, launch a torpedo attack. But as you're going to see here very shortly, we're going to win on points. So... Uh, won't even have time. Took a, took a bad hit. Hit the repair button. There's the destroyer's torpedoes. But, nope. We'll take it on points. And not, not too bad a job. 202,000 credits, 4,464 XP, 224 free XP, and a couple of badges. Sank two, did some missions. Now, I don't know why <laughs> this is showing. I, I put up the wrong uh, wrong credits. That's actually from a different battle. But, uh, hey, be careful facing a division of Atlantis. Thanks for watching the video.